Uh, today we're visiting uh, Bill Blacker, um, gun maker at his workshop in Essex. Now Bill's had a, a very long career um, and he's about to tell us where, how he started uh, and, and, and the background to how he got here today. Well I started off at uh, Holland & Holland right. where I started uh, uh, as an apprentice. Right. Yeah. Uh, we first started as a uh, general uh, tool maker where we've yeah. done a first year of making all our tools mm -hmm. for the trade and then we was picked out individually to go to a certain part of the gun, you know, i.e. the uh, barrel yeah. or the action or the yeah. woodwork. Um, I uh, took the route of barrel making mm -hmm. uh, which I started there in 1976 and done a further five years then of, of, a, of yeah. a gun making apprentice yeah. while going to college and learning general yeah. machinery yeah. and right. uh, you know uh, other types of uh, um, work that yeah. would come in handy i.e. welding and you know uh, other associated bits. Yeah. You know? So it's essentially it's a, it's a big engineering background but most important before you actually yeah, started it's a, it, it, to, to, to use the machines and that yeah, to, like to cheeks, use yeah. uh, to, to get rid of surplus metal mm. generally mm. I, that's what I use yeah. it for and then the rest is done by hand so it's a, it's a, it, it's a concentrated job where you have to you know, work to a thousandth of an inch, uh, yeah. where yes. also a barrel has to be concentric, um, straight, mm. a, and have uh, a, a form, a shape which is yeah. uh, flowing and, mm. and acts as a balanced mm. part of the other parts of the gun. In engineering terms, very difficult to achieve because we're tapering. Yeah, tapering. tapering more in there, so you're working in three dimensions. That's right, yeah. and, mm. and everyone is individual because right. they're yeah. different lengths. Different yeah. chokes, different bores, yeah. and um, they're they're made to a, a customer's uh, measurements, mm. build size. Yeah. Yeah. Where he goes into the, the the London shop, he orders a gun, certain engraving, mm. certain barrel lengths, you know, and uh, wood type, uh, all, yeah. all being worn up, but but figuring uh, yeah. patterns yeah. in the wood. And then um, it, the the order is passed down to us as gun makers, and then we produce the parts to be put together yeah. to, to to have the final um, outcome of a gun which he's bought, uh, you know, and waited some three years for as That's well. That's the sort of time, is it? Two yeah, years. roughly and about three years. You were saying years. near how many thousands of pounds was it? Uh, the Chicken guns on an average average sort of the the top makers, um, you know, which is i.e. a Purdy, which yeah. I consider as probably the best gun makers in the world. Yeah. Um, an average uh, price for a cyber side shotgun mm. would be approximately, I would say, about sixty to seventy thousand oh, pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it, if you go into it, the hours are unbelievable, and the time spent to make this um, uh, wonderful gun, yeah. which is uh, obviously like a Bentley or a Rolls That's Royce, it, you yeah, know, you're, yeah. you're paying for handmade craftsmanship. 